Yo, what is up? It is your boy RJ in the building, and today we are going to cover all the changes for Tenta or Sage Six Pass Mode Naruto. Now, I will be covering the changes on all the characters, every single 120 or 30 characters in the game. So, definitely, if you're coming through, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. And then you can stay tuned so then I can cover all of the changes because I'm going over all of them. I'm going to be posted multiple times in the day. Well, I'm going to try to at least. And then we can get into it. So without further ado, I've talked enough. Let's dive straight into it with this. So first of all, the changes for Naruto. We're going to go over his combos first as that's where the meat of it is usually. So firstly, the first change on his third hit, I'm actually going to take him off of guard. Off his third hit. That leaves you grounded. So before, what it would do in a pass game is that you would get bumped up in the air and then he would slam you down and he would bounce you. Both his second and third hit changes. So this doesn't hit you in the air and also this doesn't bounce you. This gives you the new falling stun animation. Now this is a big deal for him. This is probably, I would say, his biggest change paired with his original Juicy. The reason why is because this gives him an infinite, right? very good for him a lot of characters have infinites in this game so the value of infinites has gone down but it's still nice to have um so one it keeps them grounded before it would put them airborne that's good it's always good to stay grounded two it gives you a longer time to do whatever you want as well which is good it gives them a, co a more reliable combo cancel before you had to hit the ultimate very quick with it otherwise you would whiff so that's another one as well, right? So overall, this stun has just buffed his combo game altogether. Apart from that, everything else is pretty much the same with his neutral, his down combo, and his air combo up down. So I'm not going to go over it. I'm just going to focus on the changes for now. So apart from that, his grab. He can combo his grab now. Before, you you would, he would knock you straight to the floor. Before, he would knock you straight to the floor and you would have to throw a bomb. Now you can actually combo from his grab. So that's a very good thing to have. Again, up in his combo potential again. Talk about his air combo. Now, in my opinion, his air combo is what got the nerf. Yes, you can combo after it at the end, which is a buff. But I would say the reason why is because his all of his hits, he is a lot, he's a lot less safe. Before he used to drop straight down, making himself really, really safe. Um, now he's kind of just floating in the air a bit. So he has got more yes combo value because obviously that's the game's theme giving everybody more combo variety but he's a lot more unsafe in the combo as well so i would probably say that it's more of a nerf than a buff but he's still got the buff being able to combo from everything so you know it's not the worst thing in the world um so yeah so going over his next change that would be his jutsu his jutsu also got buffed in my opinion so before his jutsu would knock you away to a potential strike back. But now it gives you the new falling animation again, allowing you to combo after it. You can even throw another one and hit it again if you need to. Obviously, this is good. You don't get the strike back. But in this game, I would say due to the fact that a lot of things now don't give you strike back, that strike back is less prominent. It's still relevant, but I do feel like it's less prominent. But that's a bit of a hot take. So we'll see what you lot think in the comment section below about that. But I would say that overall that's a good thing for him um, it allows you to convert and because even if you're running away because look they're there for so long before they can get up you can still create some distance either way now his second jutsu I'm going to compare to his tilt because I would say that second jutsus are basically tilt in terms of like, what they've replaced it with so before he had that you used to put the orbs behind him into a ball and kick it and you would get a strike back or a hard knockdown now you get a rasten shuriken that gives you the rolling stun animation i call it the rolling stun animation because they're rolling but it's a stun in the sense of you can pick up see so it allows you to pick up so again this is a buff is definitely better than his tilt before it goes full screen you can convert off of it if you want to leave them there and and get some chakra get some distance then you can so i would say that this is overall a buff so overall i would say that this naruto has gotten buffed not nerfed um he's definitely i would say better but it doesn't necessarily mean that he's gonna be meta relevant as damn near all the characters got buffed so 
he's definitely he's definitely a character that i'm gonna play he's definitely a character i want to keep an eye on he's definitely a character that i do want to see um thrive if that makes sense so yeah those are all the, the general changes for naruto um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll catch you in the next one